What's going on today, guys? Thank you guys for tuning in here on another episode here at Left Lane Diesels. Today, I think I got something really cool that I think a lot of you guys are going to be interested in talking about. It's, it's the best oil you can run in these Super Duties. Not just Super Duties, but also Cummins and Duramaxes. This is by far the best oil you can run. In my preference and a lot of other people's preferences, this oil tops all of the other competitors. I know a lot of people run Rotella, Mobile One, um, for the Ford guys, Motorcraft, <clears throat> but this type, this oil does not, I mean, it, it totally blows these other oils away. This is the oil I'm talking about, guys. This is Schaefer's Synthetic 5W40. Now, if you guys have ever ran Schaefer's 5W40 full synthetic in your truck, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you've never ran this oil in your truck, <clears throat> then you guys are missing out on something. Um, especially 7.3 and 6.0 guys uh, with the Huey injection system, you guys are really missing out because, you know, if you guys are paying that extra money to, to buy RevX, Arch Oil, or Hot Shots to put in your oil to rid stiction out of your injectors, <clears throat> you're paying too much for that stuff. Schaefer's actually has that chemical buildup in the oil specifically for the Super Duty. So it actually eliminates that stiction in the injectors. Yeah, you know, the Schaefer's is more expensive, but in the long run, your injectors are gonna last longer, your truck's gonna last longer. You're gonna get, I've even heard people say that they get better fuel mileage just from swapping out their oil that they always run to Schaefer's full synthetic. Now, one thing I wanna say about Schaefer's, five, specifically the 5W40 full synthetic, is that once you switch to this oil, you're gonna to want to stick with this oil. Anytime you want to, every anytime you go from the standard oil to the synthetic oil, you're gonna to want to stay with the synthetic uh, throughout the rest of the, the vehicle's life. It's it's not very it's not recommended to switch back to the standard. Um, so if you're not ready to make that investment into switching to a synthetic, specifically Schaefer's, um, I would recommend not doing that. Just sticking with what you, your, your standard run. But if you do want to have your truck last longer, if you're having stiction issues in your 6.0 or 7.3, then I highly recommend you guys give this a shot. My first truck, the ZF6, um, had bad, bad stiction in the injectors. I bought the truck in fall, I pulled the engine, bulletproofed it, and then came wintertime and I had some nasty stiction issues in the injectors. I put this in the truck just to experiment. So I put this in there first. I'm, I, I've always lived by RevX, you know, said that RevX is the best for, for these super duties and stiction and solving stiction. RevX is, RevX, Hot Shots and Arch Oil are more of just a band-aid when it comes to stiction, where Schaefer's is actually going to fix it in the long term. So like I originally said, my ZF6 that I used, that I used to have, you guys can go back and check out those videos. Um, in the winter time, I had stiction so bad in that truck and I wanted to experiment and we tried Schaefer's in that truck and it solved my stiction issues. Now, a few of the injectors were at the spool valves actually wore so bad that there was no fixing that besides replacing it. But I, th I wanna say it was like six or seven of the injectors were actually missing on a cold start and by putting Schaefer's in it, I was able to eliminate that down to only two injectors that were having actual issues. So, like I said before, Schaefer's isn't just all about fixing stiction for the 7.3 and the 6.0 guys. Um, we've run it on 6.4s, 6.7s, both Cummins and Duramaxes, 6.6 Duramaxes. You know, all of these diesels apply when we're talking about Schaefer's 5W40 full synthetic. Some of our customers at the shop, you know, we, you know, they, they bring us their 6.7 power strokes and, and we, we're, we're very strict on, okay, this is the oil we want you to run and we're going to, you know, want you to stick with this oil. You know, we, we keep them on that oil for throughout all of their oil changes and they love it they say the truck starts up good it runs good they get good fuel mileage they don't have any complaints so they continue to use this Schaefer's so that brings me back to some of the added benefits that come with running this oil um, over your standard oil that you guys are probably normally running um, you do get better startups you will you know some people see better fuel mileage actually um, the truck itself lasts longer and then for you guys with the 6.0s or 7.3s, you know, it's going to help eliminate that stiction. And if it doesn't have stiction yet, <clears throat> this is going to help prevent stiction in the future. So it's a huge investment. Yes, it's more costly. But I'm telling you guys, this is a huge investment into your truck. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a huge difference. 
I hope you guys are able to find a dealer around you that, that carries Schaefer's oil and you guys switch over and make that difference. So we just got done doing the oil coolers on my 6O and we're going to go ahead and switch it over to Schaefer's 5W40. We're going to pull all four, 16 quarts into the truck and uh, do a cold start on it and uh, we're going to go from there. So stay tuned guys. So just one more thing, guys, that I want to add. Um, we just got done putting our uh, our third gallon into the truck. This truck actually takes 15 quarts, but since we just did the oil cooler, we're going to go ahead and put 16 quarts into it. So one thing, I, like I said, I just want to add this on. I don't work for Schaefer's. I don't have anything to do with Schaefer's. Okay, I'm not a representative or anything like that. Um, but the reason I know so much about Schaefer's is, one, I've used it in multiple different trucks for over the past year. Um, I've seen it firsthand, you know, the things that it can do. But also, I actually had a representative come out to the shop that I work at, and he went through, you know, and did different tests with different types of oils, and, and you could really see, I mean, you know, there's a certain amount of bias, you know, that comes with when a representative comes out and tries to show you uh, that, that his oil is better than the competitors, you know, but you could really see there's a few differences, um, like there's a certain, there's a certain, like, chemical that they put in the oil where it actually, it's small, really small beads that'll go in and fill um, different spots. One of the examples he had was he had just that chemical and you put it on your fingers and it actually filled in your fingerprint if you sat there and rubbed it together until it became smooth. He had a whole bunch of different, you know, tests and, and tests and stuff comparing two different types of oils and you could see Schaefer's was actually, you know, astonishing. And I, you know, I was a, a little bit of a disbeliever at first, you know, just because, you know, of course he's going to say that his product's better. Um, but after seeing, you know, we, we tried it we, and we saw how well it worked in the, these different trucks, uh, we, it became, made us a believer, made me a believer in using this oil um, in your trucks between the 6073s and, and Duramax and Cummins um, and the added benefits that come with it. So we're going to go ahead and top this off, check the oil, and then we're going we're gonna to try to do a cold start. It hasn't rained in a little while, a couple days, a week. So uh, she's got two glow plugs out. It's on the list of things to do. Hopefully she starts. Alright, so like I said guys, truck hasn't started in like two weeks. Um since we did the oil cool or since we did the oil cooler, you know, I had the fuel filter off, so we gotta prime that real quick just by turning the key on a couple of times. And then uh it's low on fuel too, so not a bad situation, <clears throat> but we're going to give her a shot and see what happens and uh, hope for the best. Oh, goodness. She does not sound happy. Let that fuel pump run for a little bit. Turn it shut off. Do it one more time. Hopefully she starts, boys. Fuel pump just turned off. All right, last time we're gonna we're gonna give her a shot after this.
Oh yeah. High idle mode. That's what the KC10 blade sounds like. We're gonna go get some fuel in this thing, see how the oil temps are. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're just about to roll into the fuel station because we are super low. Here's our temps. I'll try to do it. You can see 191 for oil temp, coolant temps 189. Just got done with that. If you guys want to, here's what the turbo sounds like uh, with the KC10 blade. That's inside the cab here. So like I said, we're gonna we're gonna grab some fuel. I'll show you guys the temps one more time, and then uh, we're gonna head back home. All right, so we just got to the pump, and as you guys can see right here, my oil temp 188, my coolant temp 187. Those are right where they you know should be. It's kind of a little bit on the low side. The coolant temp, the thermostat regulates the coolant temp right at 190, 192. So um, the acceptable acceptable difference between the two is around 10 degrees if you're not towing and 15 if you are towing so we are good to go guys we'll be able to tow with this thing and not worry about our uh, oil cooler blowing up so there's the little fuel light just popped on let's get some fuel and uh, we'll get the hell out and uh, we'll get back to the shop all right so we just got back to the shop here you can see my oil temp is at 192 and 190 that's exactly where you want to be um, so our oil cooler is all set. We got the Schaefer's in there now, so uh, hopefully that makes a huge difference. Um, we're going to go ahead and I want to show you guys something real quick. So right here you can see the codes that I had. You can see my two glow plugs down at the bottom there. That middle one, the cam position sensor, I believe that's just from cranking it too long one time. And then you can see my two contribution balance codes there for the two injectors. Hopefully, with the new Schaefer's in it, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to So we're going to clear those codes and see if they come back. Now that we have Schaefer's in it, we're going to see if uh, Schaefer's will go ahead and fix that, fix those two injectors for us. So, like I said. So thank you guys so much for tuning in on, on this past episode. Um, I hope you guys, I make believers out of you guys on this Schaefer's 5W40 as far as extending life on your truck, fixing stiction, um, but all the benefits that come with running this Schaefer's full synthetic 5W40 in your diesel. Um, tune in, guys, for the for the next couple episodes. We're going to clear that code, clear those two codes for those two injectors, and we're going to see if they come back now that we're running Schaefer's. We're going to see if Schaefer's actually fixes them. So subscribe so you guys can see the update on this. Subscribe, like this video, uh, comment down below on what you guys think about Schaefer's 5W40. We're going to see how well it works on our truck and uh, see if it can't get rid of those two injector codes. So so thank you guys so much for tuning in and being a part of the Left Lane Diesels. I hope you guys are going to subscribe so we can see if this actually fixes our two injectors. Subscribe, like, comment down below. And that's all I got for you guys today. So peace.